Thank you. Practice is over. Thank you to all of us. We will be right back. Deliver your counterclockwise at stone draw. You have one minute.
Two. Okay, nice girl. Got a girl. Got a girl. Got a girl. Oh boy. Okay. Good. I can just give him less. It's yeah. Pretty circle. That is the same exact split that I had. Sick. That's good. good. Whoa. Off all the way. Line's good. It's your rock. Curl. Yeah, go ahead. Rock, help. No, 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 no. no. Line's good. Line's good. Real nice, Nate. Over curled a bit. Back four, back eight. Frozen isn't bad. Okay. I want to say Freeze. Whoa. Stay to bit up. Bit up. Bit up. Stay close, Avery. Stay close. Avery, stay close. Both of you stay close. Yeah. Rock. Brock, help. Brock. Brock. That's good. Huh? Yeah. Tate. Just stay behind it on this side. I actually, I have a... Mine's great. Okay, this this four five. Yeah. Mine's great. Yeah, it's coming down. Okay. Straight side. Straight. Straight. Hard. Hard. It's really curling. Hard. Hard jack. That's good. Need give him more there. Curl up a lot. Good sweep.
Well, wait. This is fine. Top eight. Top eight. Yeah. I think we're just trying to rub off of it. Just get a little bit of a tick. Four o. I like. Four o. Yeah. Four o. Four o. Five. I think four o. Four o. Five is good. Ninety-seven. Looks good. Where? Top twelve. Top eight. Top, eight. Top four. Avery's rock. Top eight. Four. Top, eight. Four. Top, eight. Four. Top eight. Top eight. Stay close. Whoa, whoa. Line's good. Where? Top eight. Let it go. Top four. Let it go. Looks really good. Real nice. Good bud. Oh, we. Excellent. Control weight. Pretty much no. Uh, I don't think so. Don't be outside. Hello. Stop it! Stop it! Bring it, guys. Bring it. Gotta get it top four. Good. 
three. Line's good. Bench. Bench. Whoa, whoa. Clean Jack. Just Jacko, Jacko, Jacko. Jacko, yep. Hard curl, Jack. Gotta go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. I think it's just this. Like hack at hack. the red. Hack weight at the red. Harder shot, but not that much reward, so yeah. just make a good two boys. All right. What do I need, like a 40? Yeah. Or three. 30? Yep. Jack's rock. Still three. Three. Curl. 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 Yeah. Yep. Center line, Still Jack. Three. Hard Jack. Hard Jack. Center line. Good, Kaden. Good sweep, boys. Good sweep, Jack. What do you like? I, like, I kind of want to try this again. Here's the thing, I like hitting that one because it can crash on that top yellow and totally open it up to the left shot. If you're a little bit thin or, or like thick when you hit that. You can see a hair of this. I don't like hitting it really. We're not hitting it, we're just doing this. I know, but, you, but with that, then you have to worry about that if you're not oh. hitting it. Oh. I mean, I don't mind running that. I mean, you can run that, you can try and run that. Yeah, if you if you can if you can run that there, if you if you can get on nose, you're okay. You think? Um, I think you. you I think you try slashing that. that one up there. Slashing this no, one. the yellow. Or the yellow. I mean, that isn't bad. Are you but trying I think to clear? Are you trying to clear both, or what are you trying to do? If we do that, that's fine. If you just get that one of those, that's fine as well. Okay. Uh, normal. Uh, sorry, sorry. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay. What way do you throw in? Normal. Normal? Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, if you enjoyed... Uh, if you enjoyed curling without audio commentary, uh, you got a good dose of it there. So welcome to the... Uh, to day two, draw two, draw three of the 2024 USA Curling Junior Men's and Women's National Championship. We'll pick up our feature matchup that you've been watching blissfully without my tones. Really good. Uh, Caden Rose against and his young team against Caden Abair and his young team. I'm Dean Gemmel sitting in for Tyler George, and I'm joined here by Eau Claire's Spencer Eklund. 
And Spencer, you know a little bit about this uh, A-Bear team. They're in a pretty good position here right now. So tell me what you think of their development over these past few years. Yeah, thanks, Dean, for uh, having me here this morning. Uh, played a lot of practice games with the A-Bear kids the last couple of years. And uh, just being told to adjust my mic. Is that better? And what's your record against the A-Bear kids? Uh, well, I'd like to say that it was a little better than it is, but they did come back at us this year and beat us I think three times. Uh, so that, that didn't feel very good. So, he, so you're in a bit of a slump against the A-Bear kids, and it's understandable. Um, they're U18 national champions. Uh, two of them played with Wes Wendling. Uh, Caden and Jax, Caden Abert and Jackson Bessel in the third played with Wes Wendling at the Junior Men's Worlds where they had a good run. So talented team, probably uh, the favorite or among the favorites coming into this today. First end here, Rose with last stone. Freeze it, Ben. Gotta go. Like to lock this on here. Pretty good rock. That leaves Rose with his last. He's got a draw to touch the button for one, facing two. Big shot here for young Caden Rose out of Denver. His team all out of the Denver Curling Club, except for Brock Sando, who curls out of Dallas Fort Worth. One of our skating ice clubs that is making good progress towards having a curling specific facility. I'm gonna do 95 with some positive. Yep. That line looks fine. I'm okay with the Caden Rose, last shot, first end facing two. Okay. Big ad. Big ad. Never touching it. Back four. Back, Back four. It's grinding down. Can't touch it. Never touch it. Right Never off this stone, hoping it digs in. Needs to find a bit of gravel. Yeah. It slides a bit too far, so score that as two for Team A Bear in the opening end here in our second draw of the men's session. Uh, we'll be right back in just a moment with second in action. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. We're back here, uh, start of the second end, Rose Abair. Abair with a steal of two in the opening end. I'm Dean Gemmel, joined by Spencer Eklund. Uh, and now, Spencer, we really got to bring our A game because people were, you know, enjoying the game without our voices. So expecting a lot out of you now, Spencer. Well, thanks, Dean. I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> this is my first time doing this sort of thing. So I'll try to hang tight with you, but uh, you might have to hold my hand. First time and we had the rare technical difficulty with our friends here at Curling Stadium. I think, I think Tyler George, who gets to sleep in this morning, might have sabotaged us, Spencer. But uh, opening stone slides into the top of the forefoot. Yeah, what's with that like back Tyler back George? Back He doesn't do back mornings? Or well, I, I'm a generous kind of guy there, Spencer. And when I did the webcast, I always found four-day games were a lot. 40 ends of curling. Um, so I've offered to give him the mornings off. Whether people like it or not, I guess. <laughs> so. Avery, stay close. Avery, that's yours. Straight. Avery, Avery, Avery. Looks like Avery, Where? rather than play the corner guard here, Spencer Avery, is Avery, going to Avery. tap this Whoa. rock back. Back four. Yeah. Yep. Both of you go. Both of you go. Hard. Hard, Avery. Really got to go. Hard for nose. Real good. Team Rose, coached by Sean Franey. Team Bear, coached by Mike Poplinski here at the Eau Claire Curling Club. Former, well not former, 1998 Olympian Mike Poplinski. It's a little surprised they didn't put up the corner there, Spencer. Yeah, a little bit. 
I'd nice. like to see a few more rocks in play Please. for Rose, I yep. think. Still nine five. Yep. Ten end games, so they may uh, be electing to stay a little more patient yep. rather than hit the panic yep. button button early against one of the top seeds. Nine eight. Tell him good throw. This is sort of an old school approach, Spencer, where you push everything behind the T line with last rock. Used to be popular pre free guard zone. Not that I'm gonna date myself or anything, but did you ever play with the three rock or only the four? Avery, that's your thing. Uh, yeah, I only I missed the three rock era, to be honest. I wasn't playing seriously. Both of you go. Down from last. Both of you go. I played no no rock and four rock and then five rock. Got to go all the way. Three, three. All the way. Raise it on this. Get in. Get in. Hard, hard, hard. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Keep going. Lots of encouragement. They'll try to freeze on the top one, which isn't a bad result. Little stagger going on at the top there. I think so. First rock for Benji Peril. You can throw a nine. If you okay. make it to stay, it'll double him. If you pick it, it's fine. Benji's okay. got the nicest Peril. slide in the Eau Claire Curling Club. What's that? Nicest slide. Nicest slide. I thought you said the nicest line for a moment. I was oh. like, what line is that? But no, So we'll look at his slider. We'll check that out. Yeah, that's... Uh, Pretty much textbook Hard. balance delivery for people watching at home. Hard. This A Bear team it. throws a ton of handle on the rocks too. Really gotta go, Jack. Well, and that's the way to, to teach young players now if they want to be at the elite level. Uh, lots of rotation required on championship ice. Mm -hmm. Over curls there, however, though. Tight out of hand, despite that great slide. <laughs> Proof that sometimes it's you gotta have, you gotta be have a bit of artistry there. There's also the the part of letting the rock go. <laughs> I tend to favor not sliding that well and then trying to find my way to the broom. This is uh, Sando now for Team Where? Rose. Looks good. Brock Sando's father, Lath, is an Arena Nationals champion multiple years Straight. playing Straight. with Nick Myers. Really good, top four. Curl, curl it now, curl it. Hard, looks real good. Hard, guys. Bring it T-line, bring it T-line, you got it. Trying to wrap this around. Good sweep there. That's good. Good sweep, guys. Hit that the whole way. Talked with one of the ice makers this morning and they said that uh, hog to hog, the rocks were running good. about 14 and a half to 15 seconds this weekend. So cr full credit to Jason Card, the ice maker here at Eau Claire, who already had prepared a great surface. Sean Olson, our head ice maker, is here as well, but he said it's been easy work for him. Whoa. Peril. Peril. Whoa. Straight. Yep, hard. Roll, Jack. Hard. I'm going to really slash this Boy. over. Slash made. Aber will lie one, two, and four. Okay. Uh, oh, why wouldn't you go normal. for the hit and roll under that top yellow game? Certainly an option. Um, I think they're sort of hoping yeah. to hit and stay in front of that other yellow. I like that. Have that yellow, that back yellow as a catcher. Yeah, try to force a mistake there. Sando with his second. Definitely up. Hard to stick, hard to stick, hard, hard. to stick, hard to stick, hard to stick. A little up. So he'll get a piece of that, Rock. but roll away. Ten. Really needed to stick around there, so. Gonna run pretty straight. Caden electing to remove that red rock. Yeah, up two without hammer. Early in the game, he'll lie three. Force here is certainly positive for Team hey. Aber. Yep. Jackson Bestland. Yep. Hardman for peace. Hard. Hardman, you still got it. Just gets a piece, doesn't stick around. Frees up. Opportunity for Avery to T. put a good one in there. Yeah, this will be Avery Wilson with his 
throwing his first here. It's been interesting. We spend a lot of time in Denver as an organization there. Denver Curling Club hosts the Mixed Fours Nationals, and the Rock Creek Curling Club hosts the U18 Nationals. Uh, really interesting to see Where? that curling community thriving and Stop growing. Eight. Hard, guys. Hard. Eight. All the way. Big sweep. Working hard, this hard. Guys. All the way. Bring it. Looking good. Get in there. Oh, that Rock Creek Club, Dean, that's two years old? Uh, at least two years old. Two, two. Uh, Sean and Mimi St Stevenson are the owners of that club and uh, <coughs> really a great facility, and they're, they're great partners. The, uh, I know you played in the club nationals, yes. the Everest Challenge winners. Four. The Everest Challenge will be at Rock Creek. Uh, that's when our club champions will play Canada's club champions live on CBS Sports. That's awesome. That's going to be really cool. Yeah, I, I think uh, we're excited about it and grateful that the uh, folks at Everest have taken it on financially. So, gives a nice carrot to the competitive club players out there too. Yeah, I mean we have a you know one of our mandates is to continue to uh, elevate club nationals. We want it to feel like a, the important yeah, championship it is. So we continue to work at that. So this is certainly a, a great way to add to it. Yep. Looks like he Hard got that nose. going. Wilson, oh. hard out of his hand early. He will hit and roll out. So really pretty comfortable so far for Team Abear. Spencer. Yeah, this is a bit of their MO. They like to play relaxed and in control. And when they're playing like that, they tend to beat you. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I tried to play that way, but was often <laughs> full of anxiety and wildly out of control. So, oh, Caden Abair with his first. Sorry, their their coach, their coach Mike Poplinski, has done a great job with these guys. Yeah, Mike, uh, one of our one of our top coaches within USA Curling, coaches this group. Uh, Leads the junior dev program, vital to our camps. Just a, a real great source of knowledge and uh, a great resource for both this team and USA Curling. Yeah, watch these guys communicate as they go down the ice here. Seven, Jack six, and Benji. Five, six, they're going to be talking six, with Jackson, right who's in the house right now. Six, and I think their rule is they got to each say six. something like Three, four, five times down the ice. Oh, that's too much, Spencer. <laughs> Way too much for me. Too much information. I wouldn't know what to do with all that. Interesting. Uh, team Howard, back when they were uh, a top team, one of the rules they had was if the rock was perfect, weight was perfect out of their hand, they said nothing. Sure, we can try that. We'll listen in here as uh, Caden Rose discusses his options. try the draw okay so Caden another young player pretty cool customer for his age fun to watch him he had a good run last year at the junior men's in uh, broomstones yeah. in Boston um, qualified through the junior qualifier spiel held at Rock Creek in Lafayette but uh, he is all in for curling and it, it's going to be exciting to watch him develop as a player Avery yeah. youngest player on the team too yeah he uh He's skipping players older than him, and it never seemed like it. He was fully in command, and still is. Rose oh. trying this draw. It hasn't had an easy one so far. Little out, guys. Curl. Curl. Top four. Calling top four, trying to make this bend a bit. Top four. Weight was great. Yeah. Might have been just a little fooled by the ice there. Our feature sheet is sheet D, so it's on the outside, but that lets us put an extra camera out there, so that's yeah. why we've chosen yeah. D as the feature sheet this week. But 
as you know, Spencer, sometimes uh, towards the wall in any facility, arena or club, it, things get a little different. Yeah, sheet D's been pretty good all year. Sheet A too. A uh, couple tricky spots underneath the HBAC system that kind of projects out from the wall. But other than that, our ice is very consistent sheet to sheet to sheet. Pretty fortunate to have a great ice maker like Ryan, Jason Carter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's been a great surface already this week. So might have set this back a little bit. They're going to try to move it over. Benji using that knifing technique. Just a draw. Does the trick. Draw. Same shot left for Rose here. Kind of dealer's yeah. choice. I suppose he could hit. Yeah, I think he quick to play the draw, which I like. I th think he threw the uh, LSD shot here. Or the <laughs> yeah, and he just time. threw this in turn uh, draw. He could obviously play the out turn here as well, but he just threw the in turn. Yeah. So. You guys like that? Yeah, I mean, I'd say, I'd say, if anything, give a bit less, but. No, I think, I think, can you clean it? Because we can, okay. I'll, I'll give a touch less, but we can, we can, we can be a little wide here. 95? Takes a hair less ice, yep. but he certainly doesn't want to flirt with that rock in the center. They're saying 395, 4.0, back line to hog, split time. Again, good communication in the hack with the skipper. Weight's close. Stop talking eight. weights, talking time. Hard, guys. They called back eight, so... But it looks Hard, shorter than that. Should be good, I think, if they can keep it moving. Really leaning on it now. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a great scrub. <coughs> what was it, yellow? Huh? Two yellow. So that looks like it'll be two yellow and bolts a bear out to a four nothing lead after two ends. It's time to tell everyone about Steve's curling supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years. They've been proud to support USA curling and no matter your skill level or budget, they have all the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. Right now you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more. When you use the code USA curling 10 at checkout, visit Steve's at stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. We'll be right back in just a moment with the third end. back 2024 USA Curling U21 Men's and Women's National Championships our feature game Caden Rose out of Denver the Denver Curling Club and the Dallas Fort Worth Curling Club against Caden Abear out of the Eau Claire Curling Club where we're where we're at right now Spencer Spencer Eklund here also from the Eau Claire Curling Club There's a look at scores across the sheets. Uh, Mason Gensel out of St. Paul Curling Club. He's up 2-1 over Matthew Lenoy. Ryan Church up uh, trails Aiden Fitzgerald, 2-0. Fitzgerald out of the Fargo-Moorhead Curling Club. Uh, Senzali and Zachary, Nicholas Senzali, that's a team skipped by Wes Wendling. They're tied with Zachary Brendan at 0-0. And our feature game, Bear with a 4-0 lead over Rose. So, top eight, start. Stay close. Thinking this will be a corner guard. Yeah, go ahead and knife Two, three. It, Two, three. Two, three. Rose Two, three. has to generate some right here, action guys. here. Keep going. Keep you know, going, Spencer, Rob. we saw Coach Sean Franey come out to talk to the team between the break. What would you say to your team <coughs> trailing 4 nothing after 2? Be line, top four. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not to put you on the spot or anything. Yeah, I'd say uh, I'd say we made some good shots out there. Um, we like the draw. We're feeling the draw, and keep it clean, make some shots, have some fun. It's probably sound for a young team. I don't know. <laughs> I like it, Spencer. I think we will see some rocks in play here now. So that was a 17, and that's into a two and a half, three. So ice is sliding pretty good. Just some idea of how fast the surface is. Okay. Backway. Ten end games at this tournament I all week. Backline's also okay. That's pretty difficult for club ice to hold up like that, but I've the, heard that the, one in the, house. the first few draws, the ice was holding up well all the way to the end. Yeah, we're here last night, right to the uh, till the couple great women's games wrapped up, and the ice was not an issue late. Avery, Avery, stay close. Avery, stay close. Brock, stay close. Stay Curl. close. Brock, hard, Brock. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Hard, all the way, all the way. Through this with Hack, looks like he's gonna breeze by. <coughs> Wait, look good. Same yeah, same thing. See, Wait. Wait was close. Caden Rose uh, indicating to his teammate that it might have been the ice. But another opportunity here for Aber to continue to apply some pressure. That's Team Abair fifth Shane Nelson sitting in the back there with Mike Poplinski. Whoa! Easy, Davey, whoa! Ever present Hard. with the team, too. Hard. Yeah, whoa. and he'll, he'll see action whoa, this whoa, week, whoa, too. Whoa. So. Yeah. yeah, and Clean. when you play against Shane in league, too, he's absolutely no slouch. So a little strong there. Does chip their shot stone over a little more behind the guard, so... See what Caden Rose elects to do. Bumper. Bumper. You got it. Definitely like keeping the shooter in play on this one, Dean. Yeah, the, uh, this is Brock Sando. There will be a time for Team Rose when they have to decide if they're really going to make a push to get back in this game. and potentially risk Hard being done nose. in six ends or just try to hang around and see what happens over the course of a 10 end game. Okay. So obviously the young team from Denver struggling a little bit uh, at the moment, but uh, they're good players. I expect them to. We can, we can sink another one, yeah. Yeah, they're just gonna go here though. Yeah. Pop full eight. Pop, if we bump it a little, it's okay. Okay. I like like top four weight. No more than that. It's pretty straight here. So Caden, Caden calling Benji to make a top eight draw. Yeah, I'd like to lock it right on. Sort of a couple of options here uh, based on the scoreboard. Some teams might elect to blow it up right now. That's good. But it is early, third end, Clean. 10 end game. Distance, distance, straight, Jack. Switch, Jack. Just keep going. Hard. Keep going, Jack. Hard, Jack. Keep going, Jack. Get a bite, Jack. Come on. Oh, they're sweeping for weight. They were sweeping for line early. Looks like. Looks like it just slid in. Rose with a back decision. Line. Back, back line weight. Huh? Asking for a tap. Just Playing the tap. I missed that. So tap. Quiet back line. Wait, I, I kind of like this shot. Move things around. Keep your yeah. keep your rocks in play. Yeah, keep your shooters. Sprinkle the reds a little bit. Sando with his second. Yep. Whoa. Hard. Need to stay on the high side of this one. 
Real good. Well, off. Started to curl a little bit as it tapped, but shot rock directly behind their own guard. I like that good result. If we catch it, great. Yeah. You might see I like that. Caden straight, call for a run yeah. double or the, the run here. Like the run? red double. Peel? Okay. Yeah, Caden briefly entertained the freeze, which was met with a chilly reception from the far end, I think. So <laughs> we'll uh he'll try this run. Pretty good. Yeah, moves it open. So Avery Wilson with his first in the third coming up here. They haven't looked they at the out turn either, the which middle. they certainly have. I kind of like this. Okay. Do you ever like peeling something up top there, Dean, with this one? Well, I mean, it's it, it always becomes a question of when you bail out, right? And yeah. that's sort of scoreboard sure relevance as well. Right. Trailing yeah, four early, you might be, you, got it. you know, I can see trying to keep rocks in play, but they're in a bit of a, they certainly, they need to score this end as well, Rose. They, you know, even if it's just a single point, they need to score here. 91. Yeah, they gotta, gotta go in. Where? <coughs> Where? Top four, top four. Tempe, dive. Yeah. Yeah. Hard tape. On it hard, hard now. Hard to get Start it by. Curl. Hard. Well, if they get by, wow. Well, tough to get by with that wide intern, but they did. Now will it stop in time? Nice. 91. Just slides to the back, but they do lie 2 3. Yeah. If we just roll it here, it's good. Okay. Like, very sure we're shot. Okay, ten. Rose will look to hit and roll. Doesn't have to roll all the way under by any means. Ten. Yep. Better ten. Whoa. Oh. Clean. Yep. Yep. Roll it here. Roll. Roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta go, gotta go. Really good, bud. Really nice. So they hit and roll under directly behind their guard. It's interesting, you know, like Spencer, exactly sometimes when you are ahead, Same thing you, just you get up early, everything gets awfully easy, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> you, you, get, you get comfortable. You yeah. Get, you get to kind of relax and throw, and I think sometimes that's when you play your best is when you – are in that sort of comfort zone. You're you're yep. throwing free. Yeah. Top eight. It's just another Wednesday Top night. Eight. Hard. 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 Need to get by this guard again. They got by it once. This wide guard. It'll bounce off though. Weight was close. <coughs> Might make it a little easier next time for him if Caden doesn't do anything else. Oh, I think Abear is going to look at the outturn draw now. Yeah. Can he? Can he make this to there? Yeah. Do I make it first? If he makes anything over here, I have a free. I'd rather. Or a, like, yeah, I'd rather do him this. I don't hate just throwing one here. Yeah. If we're if we're here, it's not bad. I mean, it's just he shouldn't have any trip. He shouldn't have any triples wherever I throw it to make this one count. So Abir electing to throw the out turn draw to the full four. Yeah, even if he just touches a four, even top eight. I mean, their their concern is that they're leaving that in turn draw that that, that uh, Rose has been trying, but that's it's been a difficult shot. They made it once, but it's uh, that guard that that guard. So really, anything on this out turn button draw path is going to be a win. Yeah, the mistake here would be deep. Yes. <coughs> Keep it above the T-line. Keep it above the top of the four. 
Caden Hebert is first here in the third end. His team with a 4-0 lead. Wouldn't be bad to leave it in a spot where you could use it, yes, as I think it was Jackson just said that. What'd you guys get there? Thank you, what was it? Makes that out turn draw really hard now. So Caden Rose looking at the, the intern, kind of tap and roll or draw to it. Well, he's seen it made, but you certainly have to buzz the guard pretty close, that yellow, essentially a corner guard, buzz it pretty close to get to the inside. It's there. The draw path is still here. It's actually even more open now. It is more, thick. yeah. I like this. Tate just walking down, confirming that for us as well. He did mention that the guard was ticked over a little further on the, closer to the center line on the last shot. So looking to throw T-line, get freeze on the inside corner of this yellow stone that's currently shot rock touching the as forefoot. As soon as you get by, you can curl it. Okay. You like that 95? Yeah, I like that 95. Okay. You got it. Rose with his first 95. third end trailing 4 nothing. T! 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 I can't. Knife it. The weight's good, but they do have to get closer to that guard. They're going to get hung up, I think, on the wide red guard. Just a tricky shot, you know, Spencer? Yeah, very speed sensitive there because the line needed to be perfect. So any upward weight or down weight, it's going to curl early. If it's up, it's going to hang. Pretty tight window there. Like 15, 15. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 4 2 is close. Don't kill this for line early. Yeah. Yep, this distance. Yeah. You got All right. it. 15. So it's 4 15, yeah. Any roll yeah, or just a little bit? No, it's just that. Okay. All right, Caden Abair trying to seal the. Seal the rings off here. Whoa, Jack's rock. Wait, great. Boys. Seven. Seven. Curl. Still seven. Hard Jack, six, seven. Jack Wentland with Jack. the broom down. Little chap off of this they'd probably love. Come almost to the nose, makes it. Or do we do that? Well, this one you can't see all of it. This one I think is probably better to get in. This one's going to be a weird one to get through I, I to that. We would yeah. never go for a double. I think we go normal weight. I think it's control. Looking at a couple options out there on the, on the intern. Uh, tap or hit uh, way out on the wing there. Yeah, looking at that angle tap or, like or coming off of this rock, this in off. Awful thin to stick on the yellow, but you could certainly spill in for a shot. Neither one the kind of uh, shot you like in an 8 a.m. game. <laughs> Early. Control. Especially we'll against three. Huh? Yep. Control. Control. He's throwing the out turn at this one. Out turn. He's indicating he's going to throw control weight. Probably a... Thin half? I like a thin half. Caden Rose with a tough one with his last in the third end. Yep. Yeah. Curling yep, yep, early. Yep, yep. All the way, all the way, all the way. Whoa. Whoa. Now they Get might close, try to close. play it. Well, he's close to it. It's really close. Oh, is this brilliance? Almost brilliance, unlucky for Caden oh. Rose. 
Really a great throw. Just that, geared right off that yellow one and just kept sliding out. Really unfortunate. It looks like it'll be at least two, possibly three for Bear. That was a great throw by young Caden Rose and just curling, uh, curling bad luck. But nonetheless, we'll uh, head to the fourth end after I tell you a little bit about Warm Room Hero. They're more than just software. Warm Room Hero was developed by curlers for curlers, and they are focused on building long-term relationship with your club. Warm Room Hero provides continuous support to ensure your website, your club website, exceeds your members' expectations. Check out Warm Room Hero today at curling.club. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club. And I should add that USA Curling member clubs get a special discount uh, on Warm Room Hero. We're back fourth end at the 2024 U21 Men's and Women's National Championships. Our features games between the two Cadens, Caden Rose and Caden Haber and their teams. Caden Rose there, Spencer, with a great throw on his last shot. Just slipped through to give up three. Yeah, that was, that was a little unfortunate. That's too bad. I wanted to see Caden Rose make that one. That would have been a good momentum swing for them. But another opportunity here in the fourth. They just uh, were on it a uh, hair too much early. Just needed to hit it a hair thicker, and it's perfect. But I think it's time for young, the young Rose team to go all in here now. Definitely looking for the corner, corner here. Corner guard. We're not. A little tight. Stay close. See in the background the banner here presented by Shields. Have you uh, stopped? Have you stopped there yet, Dean? I, I will be going to Shields to buy an extraordinary amount of Columbia merchandise. <laughs> Good idea. They have a great the, selection. I, I am a full-throated supporter of sponsors. So uh, yes, so grateful for them as our local sponsor here at this event, and grateful for the support of our other sponsors, including Columbia. Yeah, Shields was really good to us uh, last year or a year and a half ago. Um, they were one of the major sponsors that uh, donated a bunch to get some new curling rocks in our facility. Always important. This is Jack Wentland, the lead for Team Abear. This Team Abear puts a lot of time into the game. They're both on and off the ice. So, and and we've seen the improvement uh, over these last two years. Significant and and uh, impressive. Wentland slides perhaps just a hair deeper than he would have liked, but still pretty good. You might say that some of these a bear kids are addicted to the game. They're out here yeah. all the time. It's often what it takes. This is the Caden Rose, Team Rose lead, Tate Reader Holman, out of the Stay Denver close. Curling Club. Stay close. Stay close. 17 years old, I believe. Where? Avery. Yes. Yep. Yes. Well, line's Rock good. Say, both wait's of you stay good. close. No, wait's good. Yep, wait's good. Avery, all the way, Avery. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. Oh. Doesn't matter if it's deep as long as it's fully buried, which it is. Well right done. There. Nice shot. Nice pair from Tate there. Yeah. I like the tap. I don't like the tap. The top four, top eight. So they're looking to follow that rock down again. Top four, top eight. Entertained the tap. Settled on this. This is Benji Peral. Benji, uh, also the bronze medalist with Ella Wendling at the 2024 Youth Olympic Games in the mixed doubles discipline. It's exciting for your club, I guess, Spencer? Yes, it was awesome. We watched uh, a lot of the, as many of the games as we could. Sometimes we were watching a, like a feed to try and catch a glimpse of Benji on the, on the side. 
but we're pretty pumped when he brought home the bronze for us. That was that was really cool. I was talking to his mom and dad, uh, and they just said what a terrific experience those Youth Olympic Games were. So, yeah, it sounded like he had a really good time. Although I did hear that he was quite ill for Control. the semi or the qualifying match. Oh. His he, mom yeah. failed to mention that. Yeah, he, he pulled he <laughs> pulled through. He, well, I do think part of preparing to curl at an elite level is to be able to play when you're not feeling well. This is Brock Sando. Sando, as I mentioned, is actually out of the Dallas-Fort Worth curling club, but obviously curl. spends a lot of time flying up to Denver to join this team to practice and train. 18 years old, Brock Sando is. He won't be super happy with that one. Yeah, this Denver squad is pretty young for the U21. They're 17, 17, 18, and 14. Yeah, Caden Rose, the youngest at 14, so he's got seven years of this. So Look out. I don't know if I've got seven years of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer. Curl. Curl. Watch where the roll goes. Rolls under and actually gets a little bit fortunate with how that staggered ended up. Really, now it's two shots to get at that yellow. I was talking with uh, the Rose coach earlier this morning. They said that okay. Saturday morning practice was stick, this okay. team's favorite time to practice. I don't know about you, Spencer, but I was never much of a morning player, nor person, so I don't know why I'm here at 8 a.m., but uh, nonetheless. Definitely not a Saturday morning player. <laughs> Girl. That always seemed Great. to be the struggle in the bond spiels. Saturday well, I morning. Think, I think, well, I think if you're a good bond spiel player, you really got to be ready to bring it on Sunday morning. That's, uh, that's where you really separate the wheat from the chaff, you might say. Pretty good throw by Brock there. Does get rid of that stagger, leaves his in a spot where they could run it. So after missing this in the last one, they'll try to nose this with firm weight. Jackson Bestland, who played at the World Juniors with Wes Wedling, he was in the lineup at third. Caden Abair slid in at front end for a number of games. Yeah, Jackson, I believe, is the only one on this squad that is out of high school. Does have a fullish part-time job at the Menards Distribution Center here in town, but mostly focusing on curling. Well, that's good to hear. Kind of a luxury. <laughs> the um, junior team, Wes Wendling's team, was... Uh, Coached by Ann Swissell, Mike Moore joined them over there. They had a great run, lost the bronze medal game, but uh, really performed well. And we know how tough international fields are now, Spencer. Avery Rose, or Avery Wilson, I'm sorry, for yep, Team yep. Rose. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Art. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Trying to hold this one out. It's close to. Cool. Real good. Off. Sit. Gonna roll just a little too far. Okay. Pretty good. But good result. Singing just the guard. Uh, Singing just peel. Up there. Yeah. I think so. Intern. Looking to simplify this end a little bit, I think. Yeah, at first I heard I was thinking the guard, but he actually meant peel the guard. At first I thought, I don't know, up seven nothing if I'd be guarding, but. So Peel successfully made by Jackson Beslin. Really have to stay sharp with this team. There's a Jack Wentland and a Jackson Bestland. And then we have two Cadens on the ice. Yes, there's a lot to keep track of here. So forgive us if we make a few errors. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. On a Tuesday morning.
Yep. It's Avery Wilson. All the way, all the way, all the way. All the way, all the way, all the way. Call for all the, the sweep out of hand. Girl, girl. No. no. Knifing it over. No roll. So he'll replace his own there. It started curling early, so they settled on doing that. A little better position now for that Red Rock, but I think Hebert's got this one. Yeah, he can nose and be fine. He can be high side. Yeah, I'm throwing the out. It should it should run pretty true there. If he knows it, it's not the worst. It's going to go off. Okay, Nair Bear skipping this team. He skipped it for the last, I guess this is his third season at skip, I believe. Mm -hmm. All these guys on this team play a lot of other sports too. Baseball, golf, always staying active. I like to call those the shoulder sports to curling that uh, if you don't live in a place like Arizona, there are definitely like options in the off season. This looks like just about perfect. Does want to roll that away. All right, Caden Rose looking for the skipper's deuce here. I'd like to make one great freeze and hope that Abear can't remove it. Just looking for that perfect straight freeze on the shot freeze. rock in the you got it. center of the rings. Watch more. 95 40. Same. Yeah, 95-4-0. Yeah, okay. I've watched these guys on a bunch of other streams. The U18s, last year I watched them at the U18s. And I met them in person this morning and they're all much Feels taller. <laughs> Something Feels under pretty that, good. possibly. Much taller than you realized. I think the hats Top add eight. a couple extra Top inches. Eight. Yeah, that's their signature look, those hats. Top, Top four. four. Top four, C. C, C. Weight is very close. Really is. We get a bit of separation, though. A little up. Tiny bit surprised he's playing this with the intern. We seem fine yeah, on what's the theory on throwing the out turn on this one? Well, it's a hair, hair on the center line side, so you get a hair more and. No, we're not. Feels like the out turn might run a little straighter. Right hander's out turn. Which is better than two minutes. I never really like throwing like across the center line two. like this. It scares me a little bit. Which one's better? I always thought the hardest shot for a right hander is the uh, inside out. Two is the greater number. Or outside inside out intern on the on the right side of the sheet from the hack, but of course Caden Aber says I, mean, I don't care what you think. In turn works just fine. Makes that. Cool. And now Rose will have have to touch the forefoot, I think, for, for to score a point. He's had great draw weight all game. Yeah, he's been right there. The sweepers have been right there on top of the weight. Just for one. You got it. Yeah. He's had a couple of looks at these. Be good to see him make this one. Uh, what was my last time? 4-0. Perfect. Start again. Back line to split. Time they're looking for is four seconds. Out turn draw, last shot. Four Fourth end. These, I think you go a little bit. They like his split time. Just clean. Wait's good. Same wait. Top four. Well, we're, we're top four, guys. Got to be top four. Looks really good. Sweepers cleaning it up, yes. shepherding it <coughs> in the button. So that'll be one for Team Rose. We'll be back <coughs> with the fifth end in just a moment in a 7-1 game.
We're back here, fifth end, 2024 USA Curling Junior Men's and Women's National Championships for curlers 21 years of age and younger. Uh, Caden Abair, Team Abair, out to a 7 1 lead on Team Rose. Abair out of the Wausau Curling Club. Team Rose out of the Denver and Dallas Fort Worth Curling Clubs. Abair is out of Eau Claire, Dean. Sorry, did I say Wausau? Yep. Eau Claire, yes, thank you. Wausau has a very nice club as well. I'm standing right here in Eau Claire. I told you I'd screw that up at some point. But yeah, we like the Wausau people as well. Let's look at the other sheets. Matthew Lenoy, his team's up 6 2 over Mason Gunsel. Uh, Ryan Church, his team's trailing Aiden Fitzgerald 4 0. Senzali up 4 1 over Brendan. And our feature game, Abair over Rose 7 1. Fitzgerald bouncing back after a really tough opening draw loss. Gave up four in the last end when they were up three. So Ooh. it was it's a tough one. Pass, eight, nine, nine. Okay, be way back then. It's already there. Stay close, Ben. Yeah, just there. Whoa, whoa. So we mentioned uh, the alternate for Team Abear before, uh, and he's entered the game. So Shane Nelson is in at the lead position, playing lead. So stepping in for what? Jack Wentland. Jack Wentland. So good opportunity to put one uh, put Shane into the game. There he is. Always has a nice smile on his face. Good. So, Dean, how did uh, most of these teams qualify for this event? So we use uh, junior qualifier events now. Um, so there are a number of those throughout the season. We're grateful yep. to the clubs that host those. Uh, that's uh, something we started two years ago. Um, and we continue to refine that process, and we'll work with some of the uh, folks that are heavily involved in junior curling to refine it a little bit more. But... There are parts of it we really like. I think we just need a little more standardization across each event. But uh, one of the things we do like is compared to the old system, you teams have more than one opportunity to qualify if they can get to That's good. Six, more than one qualifier six, bond spiel. Easy. So in order to be a qualifier bond spiel, what does a club have to do to host a, host the event? <laughs> well, at first, year one of the process, they just had to ask. <laughs> they just had to agree. Let's put it that way. Uh, now I think we have a bit of momentum for them, uh, and we'll, we'll treat it. You know, we'll have discussions with the clubs that want to host, try to move them around. We like to have some geographic diversity as well. Uh, that's why, you know, we have one at Rock Creek. We have one this past year. We, we, have one at, we had one in Boston at Broomstones. Um, so we, we like to move have opportunities around the country for teams. So the process, though, would be to uh, connect with us. You can connect with Aaron Kaler, uh, our events director, or directly with me. If you uh, have a junior bond spiel and you're interested in making it a qualifier event. Hard curl. I mentioned Wausau really Curling going. Club earlier. We'll be announcing... Uh, News about a national championship Where we're taking guys? there next year shortly. Nice shot. Ooh, any more information on that, Dean? Or <laughs> we well, have I don't know how many people are on right now. So, <laughs> all right, but uh, we'll talk off air. It's it's pretty set, but uh, I should probably hold off just a little bit. Are there tickets involved? Do I have to get should I sign up on a list sooner than later? I don't think you'll need tickets. All right, yeah. but Wausau, a great club and great facility. So, Whoa. awesome place. Yep, yep, yes. Hard Shane, hard Shane. Really good, bud. Well, the double peel made. Stuff's one. Seen that a few times on a Wednesday night from Benji. Double peels are big, uh, especially in close games. I often say that double peels win games. So Rose with some work to do. First time in the game that uh, Abers had the hammer, so Rose is shifting his perspective on this yeah. one a little bit. Whatever the case, he really has to go all in to steal, or if he gets a force, that wouldn't be the worst, but uh, down trailing six, needs to be all in here. Can't worry about giving up a big number. Three. Three, hard, two, 
Whoa, he could whoa, draw whoa. around here. He could have also whoa, corner froze on that high one. Now girl. he's just playing a straight guard, I think. Hard girl, hard girl, get it over. All the way, get all, it way over. all the way, all the way, all the way. That's the all miss. Right. Gonna force the, the peel again. Going for guard, right? I think Hebert is content to peel all the way to the end here. Clean, yep. We looked at trying the Clean. double, but uh, peeling one is really all they need at this point. Peral takes care of that. But Rose could, you know, opt to trade guards for a while here, put up the guard. Have the peel and then eventually come in. Top eight. Yeah. The one that they have in the top eight is is in a pretty good spot for them. Hard to use it right now with that guard over there, but it could potentially come into play a little later. Four thirty. Rushers on it early. Where? Top twelve, top eight. Hard. Hard. Girl. Girl, girl, girl. girl. Weight looks close. Now can they make it move a little bit? Bring it. Bring it across. The miss on that one was a little bit off. I think the miss on that one was just Now I think they'll take on this double. If we end up just on this one first, it's okay. Yeah. Try to spin pick this one. All right. Like I'll turn peel. Not the easiest way to make this double. No. <laughs> it's, uh, you sort of almost have to almost Oops. miss the high one. A little dicey, could get a yep. nasty redirect here. Yeah, I'm Whoa. surprised they didn't play it yep. as a slash double. Yep, hard. But execution trumps strategy all the time. <laughs> made it look, <laughs> made it look easy. Routine. <laughs> so. I think it's so Team Rose will control bumper. eight. Bumper. Board. A little soft, soften it up a little bit. Yeah. Let the sweepers control the line here. We need rocks in play. Yeah, they're talking about making the yeah, double, which right. really isn't uh, isn't a factor at this point. They'd probably rather better off having a rock at the back. Yep. Tate. Hard. Tate Reader Holman with the brush down. It looks like this rock's curling hard. Just got that started. Not gonna die. I guess ripping this one. That way. Um there you go. Peeling their own rock on this one. That's kind of the trouble one for them right now. If Rose ever sunk anything in behind it. Clean. Yep. Yep. Clean. Well, throwing clean all the way. They remove the guard, and Rose will discuss his options. What do you like here, Dean? In. Uh, Rose's position, a freeze. You want to kind of tap that yellow back, make yeah. a little pocket for yourself. Well, I've been in this position plenty, Spencer, and the option I like is to turn out the lights and uh, hope it comes back I different mean, <laughs> later on. But uh, I like I like this turn more. I think he's just going to try to freeze or tap slightly. I think you could freeze tap yeah. a little bit, try to create some sort of pocket is in this the back. One in? Yeah, these situations oh. are hard when you're okay. down by a bunch. Uh, we're just tap it I back. think the thing to remember back is, like back is that weight. curling's a crazy game. Anything can happen. Make your shot. Have some fun. Yeah, I think at this point, if you're Team Rose, you, you know, they, they lost their first game. Uh, they were a factor last year in this event, so I think they're, they're going to get some wins. But I think uh, at this point in the game, they really need to use 
use this as your as you mentioned have some fun get bit up start to back find eight. your game a little bit back eight back eight rock straight arch straight hard, 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 hard for lane it's starting to finish so bumps it back certainly some separation now and a rock to freeze to on his next one <coughs> path might throw up, but I like that for kind of max ice feel. There's 10. Oh, roll to the corner. I think it should stay pretty straight here. Caden calling for yeah. just a 10, so that's roll, right. roll all the way nice the normal control weight. Not yeah. killing it, not overthrowing it here. Certainly some would elect to throw this with peel or firm and just roll out playing the scoreboard a bit, but He's talking about wanting to hit and roll under. Looking to get it to move. Hard oh, they got to move to get it to got touch it. it. I got it. Hard out, Ben. Well, they're going to move it far enough to move it out. So, okay, job done. A little bit of a miss, yeah. miscue from yeah. Caden there. <laughs> Result is fine, hitting and rolling out. Yeah. If you do hit and hang around yeah. over there, there's a chance you have another rock to jam on when freeze. you're trying to rip what could be a perfect freeze here. We got it. We got it. Rose has I been close on a bunch of these. So. Touch less than the... Touchless, yeah. Whenever I've touch watched less. Caden Rose, I've always thought he had said great draw weight and touch. So expect this to be close. Trouble is, fast ice, lively rocks. Pretty easy to Not much split it out. Back eight. Back eight. Straight, straight, rock, straight, rock. straight. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Deep. Hard. Coming down a little bit. Get it there. Coming down, but the line is close. They can get it there. Now it might over curl just a bit. So, a little short, over curls. Throwing a little bit more weight on this one. Yeah, it takes some of the guesswork out of it. Scoring two here is... Really, all they need. Yeah, here you go. Good firm. Good firm, boys. Poplinski in the background with the hood down. <laughs> he He's still. He he goes back and forth. Hood up, hood down. Hood up is sort of intimidating. It is there. So, last shot, fifth end, looking to split this one out and score two. Just cleaning it. There it is, they'll take that out, score two. That makes the score 9-1 after five ends. We've come to the fifth end break. It's time for the uh, Broomfitters break, halfway through in a 10-end game. Broomfitters.com is the place for good curling gear and fast shipping on everything curling. For a limited time, take 10% off your first order with the code USA. That's USA. Visit Broomfitters.com.
We're back, 2024 U21 Men's and Women's National Championships. I'm Dean Gemmel sitting in for Tyler George, joined by Spencer Eklund from the Eau Claire Curling Club. And Spencer, we uh, have a game that's uh, a bit uh, bit lopsided, even though I think, uh, you know, Team Hebert's been sharp. Team Rose, not quite as sharp, although made some good shots as well. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be Rose has got a keep their head in the game and and think about what's happening on the ice and make some good throws You're hot. stay yeah. with it stay yeah. focused like and like I've head. said before have fun we heard them in the break say just that they said let's try to get two and feel good about ourselves so good approach with a bear will look to put this in the top four All right. just like it's a little heavy Kate hmm. Caden on the broom <laughs> So, Spencer, uh, when did you start curling here at the Eau Claire Curling Club, or did you curl somewhere else before you curled at Eau Claire? No, I did a uh, did a learn to curl out here about nine years ago. Line's good. And then uh, good. fell in love with it job. immediately. Signed it's up for two. a half-season league. One, two. And then the okay. following year, the we signed two. up for a league. Two. And that was all she wrote. Hard guys. Two. It was all over after that. So I, I love the idea of a half-season league when somebody starts. I think that's a good practice for clubs to offer, you know, shorter durations so that, uh, you know, sort of suck you in and then and then get a bigger commitment out of you later. I, anything to anything that clubs can do to lower the barrier to entry is a, a good thing, and it's something that our board talks about all the time, our conveners talk about it all the time, constantly asking new curlers, new people who stop out. How can we get you out here? What's the hardest thing to overcome getting you out here? Right. And lowering that barrier, lowering that commitment level is really kind of key. So shorter seasons, more opportunities throughout the season to come out and do learn to curls. Those are all things that we focus on here. Yeah, and I think, you know, I talked about this with our club council in our last meeting, just the, the idea of, you know, there's certainly okay. like a this is here. Canada, they yeah. call the first time out so of try curling. It's a one hour session. We have a one hour program <laughs> in our content platform. Then you move into you know, more of a like learn to curl. 20, so I'm always convinced in the first session, we should be just getting people playing some sort of fun game as quickly as possible. We can teach them more Maybe if good. they're interested. Yeah. Now those, those club meetings, you guys Where have been it? posting those on the, the, guard, the YouTube the channel. Guard. Uh, we post we put them on the YouTube guys, channel. They're yeah, they're done on teams high. initially. Yeah. We've got really good girl. participation from clubs. So every member yeah, club uh, has two representatives, go, go, yeah, go. Um, and uh, they've been, I think, you know, really beneficial for us as an organization to hear that voice of, of member clubs, and and I hope valuable for member clubs it as well, be. with just a good exchange of information. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's worth three meetings in, I guess, and uh, apart from some tech issues that we struggle with, we're going to sort those out. Uh, it's gone, gone very well. It's always good to get yeah. a different perspective from another club yeah. that's in a different region, that's in a different phase of their life to see what they're doing and what we could do better. Right. And, you know, and I always think it's not one size fits all for clubs either. You know, different markets, different, different needs, but uh, we can certainly learn a lot from each other. Uh, one something of we, one of the reasons we started the content platform was to try to get some of that good club information shared more widely. All right, one guard. Because as I've always said at USA Curling, we certainly don't have all the answers, so I'm, I'm happy to, to steal from anyone if they have good ideas. So. Well, we just, just saw a uh, violation of the free did rock say, the guard the zone there. Yes, we with did. With that red rock being put yeah. back. So the rock and the rings could have been hit, but they clipped the guard, so that goes back. For all the new viewers that are on the stream this morning. <laughs> At 8 a.m., the yeah. 8 a.m. game. Where? Although I'm sure it's just a bunch of sick curling freaks Go watching straight. the stream this morning. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Three, top 12. But we're grateful for uh, all the viewers of the webcast. Four. We're grateful for the sponsors of it Bring and it hope back. you'll support them. And uh, Bring it back here. it's been uh, a good partnership with all Curling the way. Stadium. All the way. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. As far as you can. Well, Look, yesterday when I was life. at work in the afternoon, I had my third screen up, and I had the stream sweep, live on my third screen. I like to I like to think that we're we're hurting productivity around the around the country whenever we have a championship. But this club has curling stadium installed, 
right? So yes. um, that makes everything a little bit smoother. It's certainly a good system for clubs to consider. Yeah, it was uh, yep. new this year. Uh, John and his team, Matt Wall, uh, was our curling manager this year, and they, they did an awesome job putting the, putting the system in and getting it up and running, and it's been pretty fun to be able to go back on a Tuesday or a Wednesday night and watch some highlight shots. Well, yeah, that's uh, it's a, you know, I think it's a good tool. A lot of clubs, of course, offer streaming now. Um, interesting you talk about the highlight shots. One of the things that uh, a number of clubs I know have tried, uh, the one I know the most, the Triangle Curling Club in Raleigh-Durham, they actually film uh, or capture on video uh, corporate and private outings and then post them on YouTube so the people who are at the outing can go back and do just what you said. Can see the back, eh? see the two shots that were made during the private events. <laughs> I get excited back. about it. Love that. Bring it back, guys. Hopefully, I didn't just yeah. give Matt another thing can. to do, but uh, only one behind the tee. Real nice. So Rose lies two. No guards up, but got some separation in the house. Caden uh, Aber is going to try and work the play back over to that stone right, in the back 12 foot like on the out turn side as yeah, we're looking at it. They'll take a run at the double, but even if they hit it a little thick with up weight and roll over and start to group stones will be helpful. Yep. There's that balanced delivery. We hard, 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 I got it, I got hard, it, hard, hard, I got it. Just like got a shot. Go, nice double by Jackson. Really well done. Well thrown, well swept. Just here. Nelson on the broom. I think he just said two line. So Rose talked about putting up the guard. He's going in the rings now. Back eight, back 12. I think might indicate that they're looking to maybe shake hands after this end, to be honest. Score one and take that into score one or hopefully two and take that into their next game. 4-0-3. Where? Top four. So you Lord also guys. competed in the club Gee. national championships in Wausau. Bring it back. Spencer, yes. how was that experience? It was Corey awesome. Ward? Yeah, it was awesome. Actually, uh, Corey whoa, just whoa, texted whoa. me this up, morning. He said, nice work <laughs> on the streaming this morning. So Thanks, we know, Corey. we know Corey's not getting anything done. <laughs> Probably working from home in his office. Corey, a, a former junior national champion himself. Yeah, he's got some great stories from back, uh, back at his time when he was this age. Probably yes. stories we can't uh, yes. retell here in the stream. I'm but, trying uh, to think of one that I could, and I, <laughs> I can't think yeah. of any. So we'll, we'll save those for another time. There's the peel. But, uh, yeah, I think you guys had a good run, right? You Were you in the final? Yes. We, yeah, you uh, were. We were in the finals, and we lost to the uh, the Denver crew. Yeah. So, uh, Sean, Elliot Mansell and yeah, Sean Elliot. Franey was, yeah, the, was uh, their fifth. Yep, was their fifth. Really nice guys. That was, I think that was the, the hardest part of losing to them was, like, knowing that they're just great guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't even be mad at it. Yeah. Good. But, yeah, we had a great time, uh, USA Curling. I, I'm not just saying this because I'm sitting next to the Always CEO, girl. but <laughs> USA Curling put on a really good event. The Wausau Club put on Bring a really guys. good event. Sean Olson made some amazing All ice right, at that club. Uh, the Rocks, you guys brought in the Rocks for us to use. That was a really cool experience. I would, I would suggest anyone who's mildly competitive at the club level, play down in your region, play down in your state, give it a run because you never know what might happen. So there's a... Nice endorsement from Spencer Eklund for Club Nationals play. It's, it's certainly a championship we want to continue to elevate. Um, it's an important one for us. They all are. But uh, um, one of our mandates at USA Curling is to make our championships feel as special as possible for competitors. There's still things we'd like to do to improve on that. But um, some of that takes a bit of extra money. But we're getting there. And it's, uh, well, I think the other exciting thing is that the winners of those of the club nationals, you know, headed to Fargo in just a couple of weeks, will we'll also uh, get a spot in the uh, Everest North American Challenge. So, it, What's the format going to be for that, Dean? 
Well, we're not entirely sure yet, to be honest. So it's two live games. It It'll be so a live women's out. game one night and it's a live men's game the, the other night. Um, so Randy Furby is uh, works for Everest, uh, four-time, you know, long-time, four-time world champion, I guess, I but uh, maybe more. I can't remember. But Randy is uh, involved and. We'll be working on format. It's, it really is an Everest event. Uh, they're they're the financial backing on it, and um, but we are fully supportive, and and uh, we'll be working closely with them. And of course, it will be at Rock Creek and in, in Rock Creek Curling in Lafayette. So it's a great chance to show off one of our new and and uh, really great facilities as well. Caden Rose now with his first in the sixth end. Back house. Back we're, out. We're out. Back, we're out. Back A, back 12. Can't touch it. I came out really fast. Sweepers right off. Caden explaining that he that's came exactly out what we wanted to do. Don't tell them. fast. <laughs> I don't know if that's picked I, up. And Caden so said that's exactly what they, we wanted to do. Just don't tell them. Sarcastic, of course, but. So they're going to work here on their LSD approach here and try to pin one, Spencer. Not a bad idea in a game like this. Yeah, that's something that uh, their coach, Mike, was really harping on uh, when we scrimmaged them a few weeks back. They were getting pretty nitpicky about where they put this rock. Well, the, the LSD scores are certainly of more importance than they, they were, say, 10 years ago. So it's a skill you have to develop. And it's really a team effort. Take a look. Six. Take a look. Curl. Curl, Shane. Yep, Shane, keep going. It's kind of a newer sweep call I've heard the last season or two is that distance sweep call. You hear the curl, you hear the straight, but then you also hear them this distance call, and I kind of wonder what the difference is in the technique of the sweep on the distance versus straight well I think for what with distance they, you're also I thinking think you get both more. brushers going and you're not worried about uh, direction as much whether straight or trying to get Stick it to car out. so nope. is relatively yeah. new but certainly makes sense they did it's pin it I think nice to see team Rose has a sense it. of humor I think Caden <laughs> says the exact Still same weight I just thing. threw Rock. Playing this All quiet. All the way. All the way. All the way. Keep it on center. Keep it on center. Keep it on center. All the way. All the way. All the way. Trying the way. to hold this stone. He's got a hit for one. A bear signals nice shot. So that will take us to the end of the sixth end. Coach Sean Franey comes out to discuss things with the team. We'll see what they decide. We'll take a short break while they talk these things through. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back here, seventh end, uh, Team A Bear out of the Eau Claire Curling Club, up and our host for this event. They're up 9 2 over Team Rose out of Denver and Dallas Fort Worth. I'm Dean Gemmel back here with Spencer Eckland. Yeah, I was, uh, last night I stopped by before the opening ceremonies and they said that they were looking for one other commentator this morning, and I thought I was going to get to chat with the great 
Tyler George. <laughs> no, no, no such luck. So I, I texted all the club members here uh, <laughs> to get some fan questions for Tyler. But Oh, you have them? I have some fan questions, and I guess I could probably adapt them to Well, just ask you. me, I'm and I'll, I'll, I'll ask, answer in the, as I think Tyler might. Well, and, and, well, and you, pay, you played competitively I for did. a while, too, yep. didn't you, Dean? Yeah, I was uh, lucky enough to win one national championship in a spotty competitive career. What were they going to ask Tyler? I have questions that kind of cover the whole the whole board of things. So I'm trying to find one that might be a good one for you. <laughs> okay. And, and would pertain to the junior. The Got juniors. it. So did you play juniors as a? I did. I grew up in Canada. Okay. Uh, so I played uh, juniors in Canada. Uh, that used to be called schoolboys, didn't it? Well, initially it was. And then when I was uh, at least old enough where there was still a schoolboy and a junior. So schoolboy, you had to be a member of the same school. And uh, juniors was uh, just, you know, under 19 at the time, I guess. But where is it? interesting you bring up schoolboy. One of the things we want to focus on in these next few years is uh, building the school component of curling. Um, I'd love to at some point add a national high school championship. Not exactly sure how that looks yet or when we do it or how we pull it off, but I think that would be a great event and actually require the teams to have all members from the same high school, not just so it doesn't become just another U18 event. The, uh, the Eau Claire crew here, the, uh, the A Bear kids, um, they are not all from the same high school, but they're all from Eau Claire. Yeah. Uh, and Wisconsin from, has a great high school championship. Yeah. So, a couple from the uh, south side, the Memorial High School here, and uh, one or two from the north side, the, the North High School. Well, I think it would certainly be, you know, more about participation than competition. We'd want to get, uh, you know, have a big field, get players from all over. The the reason I like having it, you have to be a member of the same high school. Is I, I tend to think our best recruiting of young curlers happens with other young curlers. So, you know, if it was the kind of thing that Caden yeah. Abair could fit into his schedule and convince two other people from his school to start playing uh, just for that event, I think that's a great, that's a success for us. So one. One. that's the logic behind it. And again, it's not something go, I see go, us go, go, putting go. in place oh next year. Well, and their their coach whoa, Mike Kaplinski is also a uh, teacher curl it, curl it, curl it. in the in the Eau Claire School District, and I know that that team Real has good. done a lot of traveling to the different elementary schools and middle schools in the area, promoting the game. Right. And I'm sure a lot of the other squads here have done the same thing in their communities, getting out in the community and being kind of forward facing, getting people out to the club. Yeah, I, I you know I just think that. You know, for uh, if you're a high school age kid, uh, when another high schooler tells you to try curling or asks you to try curling, you're more likely than if it's you or me, Spencer. <laughs> so. Yes. Me. Means more coming from a peer. Exactly. I think this is good. One guard. So Abear lies one in the back 12 foot. Rose will add to his cluster of guards. So we were talking about clubs and you know one of the things I always encourage clubs to track as well is this their conversion rate. How many people do a try curling or a learn to curl program and continue to play and Avery, make honest assessments if you think you know what can you tweak about something or what is working what isn't so conversion rates are tough though I don't, I don't know I don't know if you've Avery, tracked yours at all here but you know a lot of you know I actually think about a if you go just from a straight one time out try curling event if you get to a 15 percent conversion rate that's pretty high I, w I would think that that 15 percent would be very high you know the the number we're always looking at is how many yep curlers are in their second and third year because I think once you get once you get someone here for more than two seasons right you got them yeah but we're also always thinking about that at, at 
open house events and learn to curl things and, and corporate events too I think is it's here. if yeah. we can get one person from this event to be a lifelong member of our club Draw behind. That, that has a huge financial yeah. impact for the, the the life of the the club or the the uh, duration of the member right um, yeah. so yeah again it kind of gets back to like lowering the barrier to entry and making it exciting and making it understandable for new people good 403 and we have a junior program on Saturday mornings that is pretty active. Always would like to see more kids out here for that. Top eight. Line's Kinda good. Curious Line's what, good. Uh, Take a look. USA Take Curling a look. does for juniors. What sort of uh, uh, program opportunities are there for clubs? Well, we do have a junior yeah, curling. curling program guide yeah, yeah, available yeah, 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 on our yeah, yeah, content yeah, yeah. platform that pulls keep a going, going. lot from other really successful good. clubs just about how to build a program out. Um, so that, that's available. Uh, certainly people have used the Athlete Outreach Initiative, like, uh, the Peskoff like Athlete one, Outreach Initiative. The like clubs that have taken advantage of that have typically made juniors part of that. Um, so those are a couple things we do. Um, and then a, the Junior Dev Program that we run and uh, we'll look at uh, how we continue to evolve that. Um, but those are a few things we do to try to impact junior curling participation and of course uh, we spend a fair amount of time promoting the game at the youth level, whether it's with schools or youth organizations, try to get more people involved. Certainly more we'd like to do and, and hope to do. So the Rose, the Rose rink has, has something going here. They've got to put up a good guard on that top four rock. Yeah, they have one in the top four. A-Bears, they made the double peel, but now we'll... Uh, Rose will try to guard this uh, the shot stone for at least a few. Good. Where? But maybe ba it's yours. How about anything? Two. 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 Three. Three. Four. Two. Four. It's in. Two. Three. I think it's in. Two. Three. Are we frozen? Two. Three. No. Two. Three. So thinking this is a down. tight guard. No, don't girl. A little tighter than they wanted. They wanted that a little bit higher, probably. Yep. Make the make that that double run a little, or that uh, run run a little harder. So a bear will ask Jackson Bestland to take on yep. this yep. double. Hard. 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 Might have got that started Hard. just a little bit. Hard Roll, ben. Gonna stuff it, I think. It's going to roll under that yellow corner. Probably available from the hack, but another one to deal with for Aber. Available uh, from the hack, and Rose yeah. now has an opportunity to though. duck behind the yellow guard. Top eight. Yeah. Um, no. Okay, uh, a little bit more. Yeah. Top eight. Top not eight. a bad throw top from eight. Jackson, just She's biting not top level, okay? the perfect no, no, result really. they were looking okay. for. We'd rather be yeah, just a hair thick. He did open up the center of it. I said, is biting top 12 okay? Oh, I thought you said biting top four. No. Uh, just top eight. So another draw coming up for yes, Caden Rose. Game. He's throwing a bunch of these today. He's got to be got to be close on this one. Top eight. Yeah, top eight, top 12. Uh, I'm going to throw four LP. You got it. Caden Rose indicating he's looking for a 4-0 split time back line to Hog, and the sweepers D, indicating it's an 81, 381. So, Avery, the back one. Suggesting Avery should be standing behind the backs, the stone at the back of the rings. That works. So it will be second shot. Caden Abair opting for the draw right away. That's the gut reaction. What do you think? Just hit it, right? It seems harder for no reason. You have almost all of it. We leave it wide open. I have the same shot again, basically, no matter what. Okay. Feels like the least risky shot. I kind of like this. So they went through a couple options there. They talked about hitting that one 
in the uh, top of the eight foot rings rolling over Caden didn't like that said it was harder for no reason opting for the draw do you think the the uh, this is certainly a more aggressive call up 9-2 some of this I think owes the fact that Caden Abair is playing with a lot of confidence in this game so I think from the hack that he would have seen quite a bit of the rock that's behind the corner guard but out turn draw on the way six so he likes to wait gotta go a little Gotta go. Gotta go, Bench. Looks like this rock's checking up Start just a bit. Down. Don't stagger it. They'd like to get. They liked it out of hand, but maybe maybe it's sticking up a little bit out there. I don't know. Not a good result. Created this stagger. Now an opportunity for Caden Rose to lie three. Might be wishing he hit that red one. You know, they played this intern earlier, wrapped it around a number of times. Yeah. They could try that again. Less. I, and I think when Less. they did that, the guard Less. was actually wider yeah. than that Draw under. high they yellow as we look it. at it is now. Line, that was going away. left, going away in the in the third. They yeah. played that, yeah. yeah. Where is uh, Metro uh, Not in, not in. Not in. Or, yeah, well, if Rose Just makes a good one here, it's going to be everything Bear can do to not give up a steal. Four oh. Really good. And he might be throwing against three. Top four. He's got to get off that yellow guard. Looks like they're by that now. Where does this come to rest? Hmm. I would have preferred it high. That's okay. Well, Hebert will have the same shot he was essentially trying on his first. With some backing, so he can throw it with a little bit more confidence, maybe. Do I need to give you more weight? Do I need to give you a little more? I here? think so. I think yeah. it's slowing down. These ones can be tough when you know you have to get it to the button and you got the backing. I'm going to be like 14, 5, and if you ever hang it out a little wide with too much weight, yeah, we talk to young curlers all the time about making sure that you don't have two shots in your head, right? So you're, you're either really should be trying just to throw this to the button. It's all there, seven. Curl shade, carve, carve. Does have to get off that high guard. Gotta go, curl. Gotta go, shade. Hard shade. I think it's off the guard now. Now it's similar line to Ooh. Rose. Wow, they really flirted with that. I don't know if they're gonna get shot out of this though. And they do though. So it'll be one yellow with a bit of drama there. But uh, that makes the score 10 to two after seven ends. We'll be right back with eighth end action in just a moment. But first we'll talk about uh, how USA Curling would like to take a moment just to thank the curling community for supporting the sport and the national organization. Whether it's through membership, donations, or volunteer hours that help grow our game. Uh, your support makes many of our efforts possible, whether it's this webcast coverage you're enjoying right now, the R House content platform, certification programs for instructors and officials, or the athlete outreach initiative. On behalf of USA Curling, thanks for thanks to everyone for all you do. Also want to Talk about Steve's Curling Supplies once more, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years. They've been proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, Steve's has all the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. And right now you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USACURLING10 at checkout. Visit us at stevescurling.com or visit them, sorry, not us. Visit them at stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. We're grateful for the support of Steve's and all the other webcast sponsors this week. Have you ever been to the uh, 
We're back with the eighth end in our feature game. Uh, a lopsided one, but some interesting action in the last end. I was just going to ask you, have you ever been to uh, Steve and Craig Brown's curling warehouse in Madison? I certainly have. Uh, Craig was a long time, oh, he's a, he was our fifth at the Worlds, and someone I played against a lot, proof that you become good friends with people you play against in curling, which is always great. So, yeah, great spot. Uh, other scores, Lenoy up 6-5 over Gunsel. Uh, Church trailing Fitzgerald 6-3. Senzali, that team skipped by Wes Wendling, uh, who just came back from the World Junior Championship. Uh, they're up 5-4 over Brendan out of North Dakota. And our feature game, Caden Rose trailing Caden Bear 10-2. So a bit of a nervy one actually on Neighbor's last. He just just feathered by that high guard. <laughs> yeah, and you can see that Mike Poplinski's got the hood up now. Yeah, I think I think the hood up is to indicate he didn't like some of the calls in that last end. Freezing the pocket between the two yellows. It was interesting. Last night I was watching one of the junior women's games next to Mike, and there was a call made, and we both Mine went poo yeah, <laughs> at the same <laughs> time. Yep. So it was kind of interesting, Art. but uh, Mike certainly, I think, will four. have a few get conversations about that last end. Got to get in here. Got to get, get in here. Get it there. Get it there. All the way. All the way. Go. All the way. So Rose will have the brick down, here in down. the eighth end. Head down, guys. Head down. Head down. Head down. Head down. Head down. All the way. 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 Well, there's certainly no quit in the Rose team. They're all in on every shot still. Great to see. Probably going to take a couple to remove that red now, too. That was not a bad result. Well, this is one where you really have to think we're about like, the scoreboard. We're like almost seeing this, and we just like double our own. Okay. I think it might spill down Dude, that here. Is here. Key thing here, early in the end, remove the yellow that's like that. that the red is in front of causing you issues right now. Like, yeah. Long way to go in the yeah, end, and you're up 10-2. Let's do this. Okay. Firm. Okay. Hebert wants to simplify this. We would like something a little bit more complex, I think, though. <laughs> yeah, well, we might, but uh, Mike Poplinski doesn't. I know that. Absolutely. He's got the hood up. He also has the yeah. uh, oh. he also has a furrowed oh. brow now, I think. So I don't know what the furrowed brow hoodie combination means, but uh, that'll be a, something to watch for the rest of the week. <laughs> so they remove the back yellow, spill their own. I don't really know. I don't know what to do there. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Board. So for Rose here, what do you like, Dean? You like a guard, or do you like what the call there? They're freezing again to this open yellow. Yeah, I think I might play a guard or even duck around that corner. Um, use that guard. They'll probably yep. Yep, baby, yep. make them elect to either rip the guard or play it in the rings. Are we on it? All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Yes, Certainly yes, not yes, a way, terribly way, wrong way. call, whoa, whatever you whoa, do whoa, here, whoa. but. Whoa. Yeah. That's all right, Brock. Uh, Certainly positive with you, Lutter, because that was obviously not the shot they wanted. But uh, so now Abear with a chance to eliminate another rose stone. Clean, clean, yep, yep, hard, hard. 
Here we go, Shane. Good sweep. Good throw, Ben. Now they're looking for the come, the come under the I guard like control. here. Con control weight. Make control the hit weight, roll. Hitting and rolling under. What? Control weight, hit and roll under our red. You got it. This is Brock Sando. Avery. Avery, stay close. Avery. Avery. Yeah, Avery now. Yep. Now straight. Hard. Roll, roll, roll. Sorry. Really good way, Brock. Trying to hit and roll under and over curled, and they nose. It went the right way, so that feels good, but it just didn't go far enough. Hit and rolls are inordinately harder when you're down eight. <laughs> Everything gets harder. Ten. Ten up. Clean. Clean, yep. Yeah. yeah. Hurt. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I got yep. it. I got it. Yep. Roll. Ah. Dad's got it the whole way. They're just curling her a lot. Yep. Good throw, JB. Sweet. So Rose will take on the hit and roll again. You got it. Pretty similar spot in the ice for him. Would be tough to draw behind the corner guard and be second shot, so. Up. Touch up. Rock, stay, stay close. close. Rock, stay close. Stay close. Yep. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Roll, roll, roll. Go, roll, go, roll. Real, nice real shot. good. Well done. Nice shot. We missed up high. It's okay. I think it's moving enough here. At, we should make it. Can see a good chunk of it from the hack, but that guard's definitely in your eye. So they talked it through. They think they can, they can dig it out. If they clip the guard, they won't be terribly upset either. Same weight. Clean. Clean. Same yep. weight. Looking for that nine and a half, yep. ten weight. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Must be close. Curl. Curl. Both in the center. Well executed. Good conversation on the sweep right. coming down the sheet there. Held it straight, curled it at the end, got the nice roll. We have hammer. No. I think. He said freeze. Freeze. I think Caden Rose's call is right here, down down eight. There was some discussion about hitting, but just rearranging these a little bit wouldn't be bad. Maybe make a little pocket for yourself to make it more challenging for a bear to remove your red. 94. T. Where? Where? T. Yeah. T. Whoa. T. Whoa. Whoa. Off. Off. Off of the way. Off of the way. All about line here now. They need to get to the nose. Really, really good. Really good. Really, really good. Sorry. Good shot. We might all go. Are we, we one might two? see the A Bear yeah, squad yeah, as soon as they rip the everything nose, here. Two, but They're talking about a guard, though. Rock, right? We'll see if the hood goes up for Mike Poplinski here. It's just the guard here. Yeah. I mean, if you pick it, you might all yeah. go. Well, I like just hit, making it on the nose. If we miss on this side a little, it's not the worst, because. Yeah. Sometimes. In these situations, when you're the team that's up, the strategy can get a little bit mixed up because you want to play a certain way, but you see opportunities, and then you also don't want to give give a big one back. And well, and one thing about guarding here that the argument for guarding is that you're down to skip rocks, so it's late in the end. Certainly, they could blast everything. I mean, the problem is if they lose everything, Rose goes behind the corner guard, but. At worst, you're giving up two. So not really a wrong call here, but a lot of people would elect to blast. 
the one. Two, two, three. Easy. Hebert looks like he puts extra rotation on. See a lot of players do that, especially with the guards. You're throwing it slower, throw a little extra rotation. This is going to over curl, though, I think. So one, two. You throw that extra rotation to keep it, keep the line consistent for you? Is yeah, that a little. Kind of the idea there? Because the rock's moving slower, you don't want to have no handle and suddenly have it uh, come across like that one did, so. Opportunity for Rose. Control. And I'm surprised the hood hasn't gone back up for Mike Paplinski sitting back there. Just Avery. Kane. Right on Rose. Of course, we're in the back corner of the club room, so Mike can't hear us. Yeah, no, he can't hear us, but I'm just monitoring his reactions to the call. to not leave a double? If the shooter rolls out. Yep. So opportunity now for Caden Rose. What kind of weight you are we throwing here, Dean? Okay. I think a touch more. Control? control, yeah. Control, control, I guess, is the call here. Yeah, I like it. You got it. Yep. Hot. Up. Oh. Yeah. So maybe a little more than control, Whoa. but they're on it. Whoa. Whoa. So really? there was the only right. risk there of I mean, throwing that much weight as you leave a double back. So a thin peel weight double here. Good peel here, boys. Looking for a good crisp throw, good extension on the release here, right at the stick. Caden indicated on the last one, Caden Aber, that he slid a little tight and tried to set it back with the guard. We'll see what he does here. Looks close, they need to push it out a bit, but, and they all go. So now Rose will draw for his single point. What? Don't be a freak. He's just being very, oh well. All right, draw? Yep, I want to get a perfect well, we've seen We've cool. seen Caden Rose perfect. throw a, a bunch of these uh, what is it, like today. He's throwing a lot of draws. Uh, this is about the like most 95. open draw he's had. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get the slide really nice. This is our last end, so I'm gonna take eight minutes. That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. Okay. Take a deep breath, you got it. I don't know if people heard that, but Rose laughing that he... Uh, okay, 95. He's saying this 95. will be their last end. So he was thinking about using all eight minutes on the clock. <laughs> I think one of his teammates took him seriously for a moment. 88. Not much positive. Rocks. So Guys, not a big finish. Fin. We're there. We want a perfect fin. I want a perfect As a sweeper, pin. you'd like to stick this it's on the pin curl. for Skipper. Cool. Like to stick it on the pin. You're it's also like curl. tired, <laughs> so you might just be. Good. If it's there, that's pretty good. You guys that's left it short. What yeah. the heck? It There's one red. Really Rose handshakes. wanted more out of that. That's handshakes here. Make the final score okay. ten to three. Caden Abair from the Eau Claire yeah. Curling Club over Caden Rose from the Denver Curling Club's Curling Club and the Fort Worth Curling Club. Thanks for uh, joining yeah, me, really joining me, Spencer. <laughs> thanks for having me, Dean. Yeah, and thanks again to the Eau Claire Curling yeah, Club really for hosting. Uh, we'll be back at noon okay, no. today, uh, noon go. Central, with the uh, second game of this four-draw day. <laughs> thanks, and uh, come back and join us again. <laughs>